Booby, thank you, chicken. Oh, I, I'm always losing the lighter. Always. I could, it literally could be right beside me like it was. Good morning, Leona. Thank you, William, for the follow, chicken. Um, but Samantha, I'm telling you, I'm roasting as it is at the minute. Like, I'm having a serious half flush at the minute. I am the heat. I am the light. I radiate heat. 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 No, chicken. A picture of butter. So warm. Like, we're 11 degrees out, but um, to me, it is not cold. But everybody is too used to being inside houses at 25 degrees. Um, that's summertime for me. So the minute it starts coming and just dropping a few temperatures each day. Hi, Atomic. How are you, chicken? Like top of another video. <coughs> <coughs> no, Gracie. I don't think so. Keep tapping the shit out of the screen. Anybody that comes into the room. Hi, Sylv. How are you, chicken? Well, yeah, anybody that we ask, please, please, please give your energy to the screen if you have some. I've been freezing. I hope you're all right. I'm dosed with a cold for weeks because of the weather. It's not because of the weather, Shan. The weather has... I've been out in the weather for the last four years. The weather has nothing to do... This is what you've learned. And what you've been told by others, oh my God, yeah, the cold gave you that. No, it didn't. Houses are the biggest, biggest um, place for germs and diseases and things that you pick up. Your house, <laughs> inside your four walls, you'll get sicker than what you will ever, ever outside them four walls. I haven't gotten a cold in seven years. So I've been living outside for four, but seven years I've not been sick. So the weather has nothing to do with you being sick, my love. That's what you've been learnt and told, and that's a lie. It's like I was seeing two at the same time. My phone is bonkers. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like that. I have big kitty sleeping on me. Oh, there we go, Atomic. Thank you, Leona. Thank you so much. They're asleep, Secret. They're asleep. See, Connor, it's it, it can be the cold, but you see, you're living in too much heat. This is the whole thing. There's too much heat in your house, so when it drops a couple of temperatures and you go outside the house, that's why you're getting sick. Because there's too much heat in your house. The, the temperatures are not balanced for starters as well. I've been homeless and never got sick and I'm home now and I'm always sick, right Amy? It's your house and it's your there's too much heat in the house. Heat allows for things to grow. Heat allows for things to grow, especially germs. No, it's a beautiful, comfortable night, you. I sleep very, very comfortably. Well, between the heat and the cold, but it's more to do with the heat. It's more to do with the heat than getting a cold in cold weather. You don't get colds in cold weather. Because that you're coming from heat out into cold, and you're coming from hot temperatures into cold temperatures, something to do with that, and as well as that, what germs that your house holds. Heat, yes, dry heat. Hello, Sharon from Australia. How are you, chicken? I just said where the dogs were, my love. Um, it does, Atomic, it does. Snug with the doggies, yes, Gracie. <laughs> yeah, so much, Connor, so much. I leave her spam, Atomic. We love a good spam. We love a good spam. Hey, you, Ruth. Spams make the algorithm work. Ah, Hunter's in is in Australia as well. 
Good to hear, Sharon. Good to hear, chicken. God bless you too, Ruth. I don't like spam. Two proceed. Two proceed. I wouldn't touch that stuff. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I've never ate it. Would I fuck? <laughs> I don't know who was telling people that that was nice. <laughs> So did I, I, I had to always have the window open in the house all year round. Winter, yeah, summer, yeah. And I used to live in a friend's house in Limerick when I was sofa surfing. And we always used, because of COVID, like there was just, the, with the two separate rooms, like our one, and he goes, it's like, my God, it's like a fucking ice box in here. And I used to be literally dying with the sweat. And he would say, it's like, an ice. I was like, no, it's not, it's fucking roasting. <laughs> so it, it's the, the perception that your body has to temperature as well. <laughs> Good morning, Lorraine. <laughs> hey, Lucy, thank you for the follow, chicken. Ten K F Y P random scrollers of the universe. How are you, my love? <sighs> Did I say hi? No, sweetie, you haven't said hi, I don't think. You just said I told you it was there, I think is all I've seen so far. Yeah, like sitting and work. <laughs> yeah, always keep on the move. Thank you for the follow, Leah Williamson. I love your tattoo on your neck. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you so much. Power banks, Anne. Power banks. Do, Lorraine, do. Hiya, sweet pea. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's that fluff, look at the... <laughs> look. That's what's under my armpit. <laughs> fluff. Fluff. Thank you, Ruth. You're not going to learn great English off me, but um, yeah, work away. Daisy, thank you for the rose chicken. Oh my God, good morning, Trish. <laughs> you get your butt out of the bed, Connor. Hi, Trish. Good morning. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning. It could be good afternoon. It could be good night. It could be wherever you are on this beautiful universe. Welcome to our beautiful safe space. Thank you for the nightshade seal chicken. Thank you so much. <laughs> wherever you are on this beautiful universe. Yes, Lucy, but they're not children no more, my love. It's just 12 a.m. Fucking hell. These are yesterday then. Well, these are coming into tomorrow today. <laughs> I'm going to... Ah, oh, very good, Trish. You, you'll be fine, chicken. You'll be fine. New schools are better. That's me after a couple of smokes. <laughs> what the fuck? No problem, Trish. You'll have the best time. I hope you do anyway. Oh, I thought you were back with your ex, Gracie. Was that, or was that somebody else? Thank you, Silv, with the hat. You just became 180 on the members team, chicken. Congratulations. Big love. Good morning, Em. <laughs> Oh, the baby daddy ex. I get you. <sighs> then I'd be fuming as well.
Thank you, Sylvs. There's no need. She can just tap the shit out of the screen. 10k FYP random scrollers of the universe. Somebody might need this today. <sighs> so the baby's daddy was the XX, is it? Oh my, do I spend much? I'm going to be spending the next 28 days tomorrow. So I did the, from the 28th of uh, July to the 28th of um, August. We did a whole month of solitude. I'm going to be doing another 28 days. So I spent so, so much alone time. For the last two years, two years especially. Like since I've been camping, I've spent a lot of alone time, but I still used to escape every weekend. Run, escape from myself more so, not escape from anything else. Uh, escape from me and my mind. And the last two years I haven't escaped. I've just sat with myself. Sat, 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 sat. And this is a beautiful, beautiful safe space to do so. I am 45, Trish. I am 45, chicken. Yeah, she is. I am the heat. I am the heat. I've been saying this since I started. I am the heat. I am the light. What's brave, Huntress? Yeah, that's the whole thing as well. Torn in the side, I had the same thing. Um, Gracie, same thing. I'm good, Megan. I'm good, chicken. Thank you, Trish. Thank you. Thank you, Em. Age is just a number. It is just a number. Age is not physical. Numbers are not physical, so you can't feel them. That's why when people say, oh yeah, I'm 50 years of age nearly, I was like, I don't even feel 50. It's right, so like, that's when you turn around, hiya Pookie. It has, it has, it's been a while. We're all over the FYP yesterday. Good morning, Laura. Thank you, Pookie, with the hearts, chicken. There's no need. Oh, right. Is that what happened, Gracie? Because, like, that was the thing. That's why I wanted to reach out, because I was thinking that you got back with your girlfriend, and then I did split with the girlfriend. Um, and it's mad. She just touched base yesterday after a month of blocking me, so you went no contact, or she went no contact. What happened between you, my love? I need to get up. I think the full moon's always been fucking with everyone a lot lately as well, and especially with relationships, um, with divine, um, with masculine and feminine energies. Um, it is. I wish it was Thursday again. <laughs> Megan, thank you with the rose, my love. Thank you so much. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you so much, chicken. I have never been my age before. I don't know how to act right. Yeah, I'm still a. I'm still a child. I am still a child at heart, guaranteed. My heart, this little girl is screaming, right? Anything I wear, anything I do, it's it's all mostly childlike stuff. Healing that inner child. <laughs> yeah, I only blocked. <laughs> only blocked. <laughs> Just uh, a couple of days ago. <laughs> It's the distance, she's in the UK, a few things happened. She texts to apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's not the fucking distance though either, like, right, but it's if you can see the distance, like, you see, this is the thing, even though that you have video chat and all, like, the physical stuff is not like the virtual stuff, crazy, like, and it does bother you, like, if you can't get to see each other when you need to see each other or whatever, like that, you know what I mean? So it can cause, just little, little disruptions, right? But if if you're willing to fucking do what you need to do to see someone, right? And to put in the effort, it should be there. Thank you so much, Pookie. I love it as well. You too, Huntress. <laughs> I only have one blocked. Well, I got blocked by my ex. I was with a woman for 16 years and believe me, I got blocked. Fucking everything was changed, phone numbers were changed, emails was changed, bank accounts were changed, everything was changed, like as if I was going to, as if I was that mad that I would do something anyway, like, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, like literally cut the fuck off. But yeah, I had a, a great lesson learned from that though. <laughs> 
I'm not freezing. I'm sitting here in a vest. How could I be freezing? But I am outside. I'm just not space, the lack of it, right? Yeah, but you see, this is where you say, like, so there's space and distance in itself, but if you need space or somebody needs space, it's, it's being able to communicate that, though, as well, in certain ways. You did an all-nighter. Oh, my God, though, Reese. Why did you do an all-nighter? Thank you for the ice cream cone, Huntress. I didn't realise all my downfalls until she left. And now I'm on a journey to him. I didn't realise the same thing, Pookie. The same thing. Um, it was like the universe trying to wake me in 2017. This happened nearly eight years ago. It's coming into its eighth year, so it would have been around um, Ophelia. If anybody reckon, uh, remembers Storm Ophelia, there was an awful lot going on then. But... Um, yeah, it was literally, I didn't realise any, I, like, I wasn't aware, right? So, like, this realised, that's awareness. I I wasn't aware, I wasn't self-aware. I was well aware of other people's um, intentions or behaviours. But I wasn't aware of my own, not how bad that they were or how I was affecting other people, Pookie. But my cat's name was Pookie as well. But when she left... I kind of opened up my eyes a small bit um, towards how I can affect other people with my behaviour. Like, And that's when I started on my healing journey as well. No, Trina, I'm not unwell at all. Um, I just have like a, a, a smoker's voice. It was hard to realise I was the problem. Same here. But taking accountability, Pookie. Taking accountability for ourselves. I had a week of I'm not in the mood. Um to talk I call tomorrow then after a week I call it a day well you see this is like if you're if now right that's I, to me that's quite immature because if not in the mood to talk if you need to speak you need to speak and that's stonewalling right it, to me that would be stonewalling like grand job if you're not in the mood this evening talk tomorrow right and then if she didn't call tomorrow and then she's still leaving you on the edge where you don't know what's happening then the communication does a breakdown more so in communication there, Gracie, rather than anything. And if she's not in the mood, it's like, go oh, fuck yourself. Do you know what I mean? I'll call tomorrow. It's like, do you not mean anything? You're supposed to be my girlfriend. So, um, yeah, we can get that. So, do, do you know, do we, what did you do all night, Reese? Did you just watch movies, tellies? Yeah, the universe woke me too. Took me straight out of a situation and put me back up into more chaos, spooky. As much chaos as it was down there, right? I was the chaos, right? And I got cut off, grand job. Left me on my own. Fucking brilliant. And I couldn't go back to the house that I got hurt from. We spent eight years there together. like So I was like, I am not going back there. Spent like a couple of months in my car. Then I came up. It was like, as I said, the universe picking me up taking me up and bringing me up here and then I came into a load of chaos with a lot of family stuff and I was just like my Uncle Liam it was how I was directed to Uncle Liam and my dad and I had to come look after the two of them and not physically look after it was more like emotionally and spiritually that I had to look after my dad and then physically emotionally spiritually and mentally with Uncle Liam because he, he, he wouldn't be on this universe if I didn't go to him that day that day, that Sunday afternoon, 444, the numbers drew me to him, the same thing. And I met um, my cousin outside. I haven't been to Uncle Liam's in nearly 16 years. Hadn't even called to his door. Hadn't been there in 16 years. Had a fallen out with my sister. Serious big falling out. So I did like two, three hours of walking around with coconut and I was down at the bottom of the beach and I had a thought of Uncle Liam. I had a thought of Uncle Liam and um, yeah, I met my cousin. I was coming to Uncle Liam's gate and my cousin was coming to Uncle Liam's gate and we both met right outside the gate at the very same time. And I would not have got into Uncle Liam's house if my cousin, because he was the only person that came round to my Uncle Liam, he was dropping him in his Sunday dinner. And I wouldn't have gotten into that house and he had double pneumonia, so he would have died. He would know none of the family members. This was the whole thing. They were bringing him over his dinner, bringing him fucking cough bottles, fucking Benelin cough bottles. And the man had fucking double pneumonia. So Uncle Liam ended up in hospital for two, three weeks. And then that's when I started. That's when I started looking after Uncle Liam. That was seven years ago. And that day, I this is what I swear to God. So like to, between the numbers and the coincidence, the synchronicity with me and my cousin coming to the door at the exact same time, it had to happen. 
<laughs> me too, Pookie. Me too. I was so self-absorbed as well. Pookie is my favourite. Yes, Pookie was mine as well. Pookie was my, it was our cat's name. Pookie is Garfield's stuffed animals. Um, and my cousin started calling me. Oh, when you were about four. <laughs> so it, it, it's been with you a while then. The Belfast dad always ignores me when we weren't together. That's why I ended up, right? So like, th this is the thing. So like, when you're together, you're together, right? But when you're not together, that was the thing I found. The, the, the communication when you're not together should be actually more than when you are together, to me. Or like that, even if you're communicating in and out, like, or if you're doing your video calls, if you're doing your texts in the morning, if you're doing your certain parts of communication, right? So like, there's certain parts of communication that need to be had. Do you know what I mean? So, like, if there was no communication on the days, say, like, a grand job, if the communication is there, that you say, oh, yeah, well, we, we won't chat today, or we leave it off, or depending on how the communication is between you as well. Do you know what I mean? Good morning, Swen. How are you, chicken? Oh, Pookie means Vietnamese. See you next Tuesday, does it? I think it's, like, something like, um... There's a terminology in America, I think it was Pookie, it was something to do with farts. <laughs> Yeah, it was constant. She blocked me then, called me everything under the sun then. Yeah, Gracie, right? So, it sounds like that she has issues, girly. It sounds like that she has issues and I don't think you're it, but she seems to be um, focusing on that you're the issue. Yeah, awareness of it is why I split. You're on the way to school. Don't get too wet. Don't get too wet, Trish. You called your cat Luna. Beautiful name, Sylv. It's on your neck, is it? Ah, very good, Pook. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, that it also means a type of fart. <laughs> See you later, Reese. Enjoy school, chicken. Good morning, Chris. How are you, my love? Yeah, maybe, Gracie, maybe, chicken. Some type of animal fart. <laughs> Good morning, Jody. Yeah, me too. Same as Sven. I hope you are too, my love. Tan with the follow. Thank you so much. Good morning, Leona. Thank you, Pookie. Thank you so much. I've been tested. <laughs> I've been tested. And I, I, I'm so aware now of the universe, trust in the process. I've been camping for the last four years. So um, I was compulsed, compulsed to do what I do. Right, and nobody really understands it because when they say, oh my God, you could be sleeping on a sofa, I was like, yeah, but I have a fucking double bed here. Why would I sleep on a sofa if I've got a double bed and a very comfortable double bed at that? But thank you so much, Pookie. Her texting triggered the same thing. I never beg someone for time, right? Why should you? That's the whole thing. I'm an attention whore, right? An absolute attention whore, right? So like, if I have my favorite person, like, guaranteed. Like, not that I'm going to want to text them all day long, but, like, going in between the things I have to do and my now stuff and my, my daily purposes. Like, yeah, of course you want to. I have a runny nostril. <laughs> you want to talk, but my tongue feels tight and you don't know what to say. That's okay, sweet pea. That's okay, my love. Good morning, Brenda. But, yeah... I felt like it too, though, as well, like having to beg for attention or time for what? If, if someone, if someone really fucking likes you, like, right, and when I mean love can come in many, many different ways and so unconditional, right? But most people have conditions on love, right? And that's the thing, so I think the more the conditions start, the more restricted it feels. How are you, Brenda? Much love, we do. And uh, it's, yeah, and, oh my God, that's, uh, when I mean that's my fucking, one of my biggest triggers, Gracie, I fucking, I can lose the plot over that, I really can, it's so unbalanced, right, so that's it, don't say, or don't ask me to do fucking one thing and then another happens, right, so if you're asking me to do something, and then you don't follow through with asking me what to do, like, right, because like, even if it's over a phone call, 
So like this was one of the things that seriously bothered me. Don't ask me to fucking ring you. And then you not answer your bastard and phone. So yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a ring as soon as you get back. Give me, yeah. Do you ring me? Right? Grad, that's already arranged. <laughs> Oh my fucking God, and then you make the phone call and then you're being fucking ignored. Right, so that, that really wrecks my head. Like, don't ask me to fucking do something because that's a trigger in itself and you can even see. Oh my God. Gracie, exactly the same chicken. Say one thing and fucking do another and I'm just like, I want to knock you the fuck out. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's just avoidance behaviour is exactly what that is, Gracie. It's avoidance behaviour, not taking accountability. Because most won't take accountability because they're not even aware of their own behaviour, Gracie. That's the thing. They're not even aware of their own behaviour. I love this weather, Sophie. I absolutely love this weather. <laughs> we really do, honestly. We've been in it for four years now, coming into our fifth year now in spring. Good morning, Anthony. How are you doing, chicken? Thank you for the share, Anthony. Passive aggressive. But then they write, so then I get triggered. Right, now listen, right, I get triggered over somebody not answering my call that has asked me to call 111. Right, and I get triggered and then the trigger is projected back onto you because of the no communication. When you've asked me to communicate and I try to communicate and then you ignore the communication and you expect me not to react. Right? Hiya Siobhan, how are you chicken? But this is it, this is my darkness. This is people are full of fucking darkness. Right, and you try to give love to that darkness. Sometimes it's fucking hard. Sometimes it's hard, cause like, it's like, Argh. <laughs> Literally, wreck the head off you. Yeah. I have a different frame of mind in this relationship. He is busy with work, but the doggies are good, Jody. The doggies are good. Thank you, Anthony. It is, Brenda, it is. He contacts me as much as he can, making the time to check in on each other. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, fuck, what happened? What happened, Siobhan? <sighs> but yeah, people are my biggest trigger. People are my biggest trigger. Yeah, right, so this is the thing, and the projection is the fucking, is the worst, so you have to walk away, Gracie, you have to just, like, poof. yeah, I've had to do it myself, I've literally had to do it myself, but it's the immaturity that comes with it as well, it's like the fucking immaturity, I'm fucking healing and I'm growing, right, and then if the person gets a reaction, if the person gets a reaction, that's the thing. That's all they want is the reaction. Like, but I'm aware of my reaction. I know why I'm reacting. Right? Top of the morning, Barbara. Hopefully everything will be all right. I'll say a prayer, Siobhan. I'll say a feckin' prayer, my love. <laughs> But I love to feel, right? Even if it's bad or good, I don't mind feeling. I need to express myself whether it's anger, because guaranteed, yes, you're going to feel angry if you feel like you're being ignored. Even though the person might not have been ignoring you, the, the phone could have been on silent. The phone could have been over on the other side of the room and they in a different room, right? Grand job. But it doesn't mean to say because you have borderline and if this thing has happened before, it's not saying that you're not going to feel that thing. Even though it's your brain telling your body something that you have to react in a certain way. I need to feel. I'm going to feel this. I need to feel this. I need to express this. Right? And it's up to the other person to hold space for your darkness. 
Right, and for you to be able to express, say, it's it's okay, I understand how you feel. I'm explaining this to you now so you don't have to feel what you need to feel. Right? And holding space for the darkness that somebody can come with, even if they're not aware of their actions. Even if they're not aware of their actions. Just be aware of fucking somebody else's anyway, if you're not even aware of your own. <laughs> My God, communication is my biggest thing. Communication is my biggest thing. 600 missing in the mountains, my God. But, like, but you see, this is, this is insanity, Grace. That's exactly what insanity is. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Right, you have to change the behavior to get a different result. If you're not changing the behavior or the actions or the reactions, nothing will change. Do you know what I mean? So that's complete insanity. Loops, cycles, patterns. Fucking the minute you recognize a pattern, I recognize patterns all the time. Oh, that's mad, Atomic. That's so mad. Oh my God, yeah. <sighs> can we, of course we can, sweet bee. What do you need to communicate about, chicken? And you hadn't called it out before, Gracie. Yeah, when you know, Connor, you know. No, Lucy, I don't have a partner. I did have a partner. She cheated. <laughs> and she cheated and lied and blamed me. <laughs> blamed me for her shit. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Too much damaged people in the world. Completely a whole mountain. Whereabouts is this? I don't need anyone, Lucy. I am happy enough by myself. I don't need a, a blind fucking soul. I don't need anything or anyone. I am quite fully capable of doing that by myself. Good morning, Lisa Marie. And she blocked you then. I know, sweet pea, I know. But you've got one more day to communicate. <laughs> if you need to communicate, you need to communicate, but you've got one more day to do so, unless you need me in an emergency. Yeah, I'm so happy on my own, Kelly. Like, for the last ages, I've just had, like, two people. I've had two relationships. <laughs> two small, um fucking not so great relationships I wouldn't even call them a fucking relationship a situationship is what it was <laughs> I'm good Lisa I'm good good morning Stacy good morning good morning <sighs> yeah but that's exactly what she did she accused me of cheating when she was the one doing the cheating I was like, even on live, so jealous of people that I was flirting with in bits and pieces. And I was like, you can see exactly what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? So I wasn't going behind anybody's back. But um, I was being accused when she was doing it the whole time. I was loyal as fuck. That was the thing. <laughs> loyal as fuck. But yeah, the person that's doing the accusing is usually the one doing the cheating. They only see themselves, Jody. They really do, chicken. Self-absorbed, <laughs> so much. Jesse, thank you for the heart, me, my love. Thank you, Fupa, thank you so much. You are awesome too, my love. Good morning, Anastasia, good morning. It's okay, Lisa, it's okay. Rise and shines, Jin, how are you, Tintin? Jin, Tintin, Jin, Tintin, Jin. Grand rising, muddy paws. <laughs> yeah, he was the one doing the cheating. Nearly seven years, Lucy, nearly seven years. 
Pig's nearly coming into its eighth year now, actually. Yay! <laughs> I am, it's 14 to 20 years waiting list, Lucy. <laughs> who needs friends when you got, who needs enemies when you got friends, right? Who needs enemies when you've got friends like the way that the generation has come or the way that other people have been taught and it's not their fault, right? And it's hard, it's hard not to blame other people, right, for their issues, right? Because they have the issue, right? They're projecting an issue on top of you. And it's hard not to blame the other person because they're conditioned. They're like a fucking robot. They're just loops and patterns over and over and over again. And it's up to us to realise what the pattern and what the loop is. And even if they are friends, it's like there is no friends, Jody. There isn't. There's fake people on this universe and they're just only out to take. It's basically a game of life, right? Either you gain energy from people or you lose it. Right, I would rather gain energy from people to ever lose it because like I'm an energy giver. People will always, I am the source of energy that people will want to gain from, right? And I have to be very, very careful of what I encounter because my energy is so, so is everybody else's. Your energy is so, so, so precious. But most people are not aware of how valuable and precious your energy is to become and taken. So I'm a loner and I'm very proud of being a loner too, Jody. Same as, I love that. I love that about me. I finally got out of the bed. Good man, Connor. I love being on my own too. Good morning, Tracy. No, well, look at that's the, the the right. This is what I said. It's the condition, Lisa. The condition, the condition, the condition, and it's not other people's faults, right? Grand job. If they're aware of everything that they're doing, yes, then be a fault. But if you're not aware of subconscious behavior, most of our body, 95% of our brain is subconscious behavior. I blame myself for giving the benefit of that. And how long were you with her, Gracie? How long was this all going on for? And trust your knowing your inner gut, your, your energy and your gut won't and your soul won't lie to you. Your gut, that gut will not lie. That's energy. You're an amazing person inside and out. Don't let anybody tell you different love. I won't, Barbara. I will not. Takers, right, Atomic? There's about three people in my circle and that's it. I have only have three people as well, Kelly. Round about, same thing. My best friend is my sister, my mum. Yeah, and uh, I won't speak about my sister. <laughs> Tracy, yeah, you too. It does take strength to be alone. It does. I love solitude and I'm starting to love my solitude even more because I learned so much from it. We were together about six years ago, then reconnected about a year this time. So what was it about six years ago? What happened six years ago, Gracie? Yes, when there you go. Oh, I'm a carer for my uncle chicken. I've got to I got lots and lots of now purposes. So my two doggies, I I put a lot a lot of time and effort into my two doggies and Uncle Liam. So between them two, I'm over there three, four times a day. Like at least at least eight to fourteen hours of my day is taken out of it and then the dogs. Oh, okay, Gracie, and that's what happened then. Yeah, I've literally only, oh, I can count on the one hand. And we're caught. <laughs> yeah, I've got a friend that I met on a dating app as well. It didn't work out or anything, but like, we're still good friends. When we needed to. <sighs> Ah, thank you, Atomic. Thank you so much. We'll come back on later on this evening and do one more live before we head off this evening. So if anybody needs us this evening. She never came here. Yeah, it just sounded like it was all one-sided, Gracie. It is, it's way better than the wrong people. Very good analogy there, Sven. He's very good, Jody. He's actually really, really good. 
that's okay, Muddy. That is okay, chicken. Now I'm going to have one more smoke, which is, and then it's up and out for me. Do I have? I do. I've got one in there. All right. <laughs> but seemingly the sorries weren't enough then. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I did. I tried to fucking reach out the other day after when you said that you were gone for a while. And then I was like, I can't message her. Because I knew something was up. I actually knew something. Like I could feel that as well. I'm off this sweetie talk later. See you later, Barbara. Have a beautiful day, my love. Yeah, do, Gracie, do. There was an awful lot though, like, cause like, there, there's been people that I've even been chatting to, like even in America, like even just through the live, right? And people going through the same situations, just different people. Exactly the same situations, but just different people. I have two Pomsky's chicken, they're both the same breed. I know they don't look like it, but they are. <laughs> cause like the complete opposites, they don't even look alike. They have nothing to do with each other. One is like small and one is like up here. And a lot of people can't believe they're the same breed. <laughs> Johnny, thank you for the follow. Yeah, it, I, it's, to me, the, the, the friendship thing with fucking with exes, it's like, the lesbians do that a lot, right? Lesbians do that an awful lot, but... It's just like, why be friends if she couldn't be your girlfriend? Because, <laughs> like, right, this is the thing that I would say, right, behaviours. Right? I said you would get away with more of a behaviour being my girlfriend, right, than being my friend. Because being my friend, I would not allow that behaviour because my boundaries are up. Right, Gracie? So, like, if, if like I'm saying, I would not allow that behaviour. Right, and you could let it slide in some parts of ways. But I said, me being your friend, I'm going to fucking call you out on your shit all the time. <laughs> You're not going to get away with Jack shit being my friend, but you might get away with a tad little bit more being my girlfriend. Put you on where, Johnny? <laughs> Thank you, Atomic. Hey, Mary. I agree, that's why I'm second thinking it, right? So, <laughs> is this fam? Um, this is a beautiful, safe space, Mary. That's the way, the only way we can explain it. We, we, we talk. We love, love, love to talk. I wouldn't feed into it, Gracie. Um. There we go. One, two, three. Nah, you leave, missus. <laughs> you leave. Goodbye. <laughs> you are the weak link. <laughs> I don't know what that was. There was just a Mary came in, Gracie, and was telling you to leave. <laughs> Did you see that, Gracie? <laughs> Good morning, Casey. How are you, chicken? I think she got lost, yeah, I think she she, she didn't find her way. <laughs> yeah, she was just like, Gracie, stop. It was a Mary. <laughs> she had two followers, uh, uh, yeah. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? <laughs> yeah. Not when you're being fucked out of a room. <laughs> you have a headache. Oh, Shane, thank you for the follow, chicken. Probably from the lack of sleep, Sweepy. I actually had a good night's sleep last night compared to all of the rest. I haven't been sleeping well at all. But I woke at 4, 04, 04, 05, 05, and 07, 07. <laughs> Three times I woke. At <laughs> Mary, I agree. <laughs> Block. <laughs> Block. <laughs> I was thinking it, could, it might have been your ex <laughs> on a fake account. 
listening in in the background. The purple bells and strange shells. Oh, yeah, Casey. <laughs> I didn't know the rest. <laughs> I forgot. I bet you'd be fun today. I am a guy. I'm brilliantly. I would be. I am fun to date. I'm just a fun person in general, right? I am a happy-go-lucky person, right? And it's. I think it's. It's the vibration of others. I vibrate very high, and it's not fakeness. It's not nothing. She was texting me from Spain. <laughs> good morning, Susanna. How are you, chicken? You have a good day too, sweet pea. No, just don't mess with me. Fuck me. Do not play with a player. I've played. Believe me, absolutely are. Yeah, I, I've played, right? And I know I've played throughout the years. I've owned up. Right? I have played through it. So you don't play a player. Believe me. <laughs> but I'm honest about my playing. But I've tried to be played. But you can't. You can't because you're going to end up being played yourself and you're going to end up not in the right um, mindset because, like, guaranteed, right? This is the whole thing. Like, anything to do with your aura and your personality. I do. I've got two boys, chicken. Anything to do with your aura and your energy, right, is to be protected in many different ways. And people go out there willy-nilly, giving their fucking energy to all sorts of strangers' minds. You know what I mean? Virtually, fucking... Physically, uh, any willy it is like a fucking. Does nobody get in this bastard energy? Nobody, right? And you'd have to be a fairly special person to be getting my energy. So, <laughs> protected at all costs, and that's literally what I've been doing now for the last few years, two, three years. Protect, protect, protect. I've zero tolerance. That that's right. So like. The thing I, I think like, right, and like people turn and yeah, you're not healed, you're, you're triggered like fuck. Yes, I'm affected. Don't tell me to do something and then you do something else when you ask me to do something. Guaranteed you're going to get a trigger. You are going to get fucking something if you're telling somebody to do something and then don't follow through with doing something. Protect, protect, protect it always. My ex now deceit didn't trust me because of my previous player at you, right? But you see, this is the whole thing. Once you make the decision not to be a player, Muddy, once you make that decision, I was like, I like not that I played much, right? I didn't. It was only when I'd fucking, I had chose right because I was with a woman for sixteen years. I cheated on her once at the, at the start of the relationship. It was like in the first five years, I know the first two years, I cheated, and then we got back together a year after. So we separated for a year, got back together a year later, and I promised I would never, ever do that and again. Now I did towards the end of the relationship because I didn't love her and I couldn't express that I didn't love her and I wanted more than what she was able to give me and I couldn't express that, right? And I couldn't be honest about expressing that. And yeah, then she just ended up leaving me. So like, I ended up having a threesome with two other girls towards the end of the relationship. And that's when they were trying to hold this against me. I was like, fuck you, motherfuckers. I'll tell everyone. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I've lost everything as it is. So like this is when people hold shit against you. Bah, don't, because like I'm the one with the ammo. <laughs> Yeah, but I was being, I was accused of being a cheater when the, when the person was being the cheating, the, when the person was doing the cheating themselves. So like, never cheated when I was in a relationship. I did. I remember like the, the, the kids, the father of my kids slept with my cousin, but it was my cousin that um, seduced him and she was trying to seduce, he was trying to, he was trying to get with her for a long, long time. And then when she found out he was with me, it was like, no, 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 no. Then she got what I was like, she didn't even fancy him. She didn't do anything anyways, but he was so honest. He rang me the next day and told me. I was like, fair play, right? That was grand. We ended up having two kids together. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't cheat there. It was more on the, I'd be, I'd, I couldn't. I couldn't fucking cheat because I was a lesbian, right? So, like, how could I be going off and cheating with fucking other men? So that was the thing. And I think as well, there was an awful lot of, um, an awful lot of just non-trustable behaviour, right? So, like, don't be doing them type of things if you want people to trust you. The drama is real. Yeah, I couldn't even have friends, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like, and that's the one thing. I'm not hugely a jealous person, but there was things that I was linking into that there was jealousy from the, the girl I was with. Like, there was a lot, a lot of fucking jealousy. And then I'm like, 
she did things to try make me feel jealous. There was an awful lot of behaviours. She wanted that jealousy to be, and it was like that. When there was no chaos there and it was just peace. When it was just chaos and it was just peace uh, and there was no chaos, that was chaos had to be created because that's all that they know. That's all that they know is chaos. Did you live with the father? I did. We lived together for six years, uh, Lottie. We lived together for six years. Um, five years? Five years. We Five, six years we were together for. We had two boys. And then I moved in with my ex, so I went straight from my ex-partner. So, like, from 18 to 37, I was in relationships with the father of my kids and the, the girl I was in a relationship with for 16 years. So for full on 20 years of my life, I was just in relationships like... How much for the Tangle Twister 3000? <laughs> Barbara McGuire. Uh, like you can have female friends and not want to jump right away. This is the whole thing, right? Why do people think that though as well? And why do people think like that just because you're a lesbian that you want to sleep with every fucking woman either, right? That's not the way that it goes. <laughs> no, there's nothing, no matter what, nothing. But you see, people can come into relationships as well, Jody, with having no trust. This from their previous and they're bringing baggage in and they don't do the healing on themselves from their previous relationship to be bringing in the fucking baggage from their last relationship. Like, I didn't get into a relationship with another person. Like, it's nearly like eight years, seven years. And all I was, no relationship, no relationship, no relationship. No matter how many people asked me, I didn't know relationship. I was poly. I, I even went from monogamous to polyamorous, like just turn around and say, if I'm going to see you, I'm going to be seeing other people. I even went as far as that, not to have the, the relationship, the commitment. I wasn't going to commit. I wasn't ever, ever going to commit. If somebody tells me in confidence, if we fall out the next day, uh, that information isn't going anywhere, right? So like, that's, that's a big trust thing. No problem, Lottie, no problem. A beautiful, beautiful life. Many, many, many stories. Exactly, that causes the narcissistic behaviour to creep out. It does, Muddy. Yeah, my baby daddy did that right, Lottie, so we can relate. No one tends to uh, rebound in long relationships these days. No, not much. But that's where the healing comes into play, Jody. Exactly right, Ashley. <laughs> no one breathes these days, no. I don't trust uh, because of my baby's dad. He's never given me a reason not to trust him. It hurts, right? I know, but because of other people's behaviours, chicken, you shouldn't bring that baggage to another either relationship or friendship. That baggage should, should be healed by you or the other person can help you unpack the baggage and you go through the baggage together. Right, so there's two ways of doing that, KC. Thank you, Tattooed Bat. Thank you, Chicken. We all need to hear things this morning. We all need to hear things. I need to hear this too, because there's a lot of people needing to hear. Hiya, Bran. We're doing okay, Chicken. I'm fine too, but we need tough times to come to peace. We do, Lottie. The, the worst experiences that we go through are there to help us, not to hinder. They're there to help us. They really are, but we learn the lessons. If we learn the lesson, we don't repeat the lesson. That's the cycle and the loop broken. <coughs> only, yeah, we are only responsible for our healing, Jody. We are indeed, chicken. Nobody is responsible for our healing either, but at the same time, it's nice to have somebody that can open up our baggage with us or that can offer that. Offer that. If somebody can't offer that safety, don't expect them to offer that safety. Your, your expectations, you're going to be a very, very diff disappointed person if your expectations are too high because a person can only meet you at their level of capacity and how they've met themselves. And if they haven't met themselves at any capacity, they can't give you peace if they haven't got peace themselves. They cannot be honest with you if they can't be honest with themselves. They cannot give you love if they have, cannot love themselves. They cannot give you peace, joy. They cannot. All they can give you is shame, guilt and fear. Right, if that, that's all that's going to be projected onto you if they are not healed. It's real my trust and I hear what you say, but I can't trust no matter how hard I try. Trust you, KC. Do you know what the problem is? You can't trust yourself enough to give trust out. You need to learn how to trust yourself and your own instincts and your own gut, my love. 
It's trusting you is the problem, not anybody else, because the, your trust in you is a reflection. All other people are a reflection of what you are, what you are, what you can be, and what you could be. That's what other people are, right? That's what the reflections of, of what you're not, what you could be, what you are, and what you can be. Hey, a lot of love to Norway, chicken. Um, all my family love my ex, and I think that's what kept me hanging on. Right, Gracie Socks? <laughs> what does that matter? What does, like, if they love her, does that have an impact on you if they love her, right? <laughs> As in, my ex was so ashamed of me, she couldn't even fucking tell anyone. She lied about me. I was a dirty fucking secret for a whole year and 13 months. <laughs> A whole secret. I couldn't even post. I couldn't even fucking say that. And then she told her family that she... Because she was seeing another girl for four months behind my back. And she told her family about that girl, but she never told... I was her friend. I was her friend. <laughs> that was the dirty secret. The friend, the friend, the friend. <laughs> I don't give him a hard time about it. It's just how I feel. Don't get me wrong. I know, Casey. That's okay, chicken. But we're just expressing. Good morning, Dar. How are you, chicken? Yeah, the expectation's low on them. And trust yourself, right, Lottie? That's, that's a good analogy there, chicken. We all need someone to lean on. I permanently camp. I permanently camp um, emojis there. Yeah, it does make some sense, Kay. It does, chicken. It does. Hey, a cookie in the cookie, the bunny. Hello, chicken. We all need somebody to lean on. <laughs> I love that, Connor. Thank you, Jody. Thank you so much. Our first weekend was spent with her ma. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I know. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. I'm a carer, chicken. I'm a carer, so we'll be leaving now when I finish this smoke. Over to Uncle Eames. He's four minutes across the road, two minutes if I run, and one minute if I cycle. <laughs> when you're not strong, I'll be the one. I'll help you carry on. I'm such a bad singer. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. You're beautiful too, my love. Yes, they do, Lucy. Of course they do. The doggies love Uncle Liam. They love Uncle Liam. They're absolutely amazing. They're sleeping. Yeah, that was the first red flag. <laughs> you should have ran. Not not walked, ran. <laughs> oh, I know. I love. That's why I feel them words. That's why. I feel the words giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, a side, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, a side, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, a side, giddy up, I said. I thought the flag was green. <laughs> we, we, we'll forgive you for that one, Gracie. We'll forgive you for that one. <laughs> I am Casey, I am chicken. I think that's what the kids when they're dragging their feet. <sighs> we have to laugh, we do. We do. 24 years old and I've never been across the border. Neither have I, Casey. Oh, no, I have. I, well, I've been across the border to the UK. Just not across the border to America. <laughs> Do 
singing, laughter, dancing. Be childish. Be a little girl. Dance around the room like nobody's watching. <laughs> Come see me. I, I will get to the water. Believe me, I will get to the water. You've been told it's just not, just not Ireland. That's okay. You're not meant to know yet, Casey. Not yet. Yeah, it's like no, but just not yet. <laughs> no, they're not protective over me, Jody, at all. <laughs> I too and the kids tell me to stop and shut up. As they do, as they do, Muddy. Everywhere. <laughs> the whole country is gorgeous. Every single county is absolutely amazing. It's some of the people that ain't, so they wreck the place. <laughs> Ah, oh, welcome. Thank you for watching my live yesterday, 250. Uh, monster. Yeah, so if I say I've never been to America, I say not yet, right? Like, is it, but one day, that is not just not yet. Oh, raw Ireland, yeah. I'll take all day off the beaten track roads, love that. Well, a lot of it is very raw. A lot of it is. Even the touristy places is quite raw too, chicken. Even the touristy places is. Our history of the land is absolutely amazing. Those beautiful historic places that are so raw, that are like from like years and years ago and just the, the, the monuments, the buildings, the Tehilatara, there's so many um, sacred places here too. Yeah, Dunny got I love, I love, 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 love. That's what I learned to drive on. Tiny single track roads, yeah, and you have to pull in for somebody to pass you. Oh, I don't just only feel the lavender, right? In literally less than five minutes drive from where I am, there's a whole field of lavender growing atomic. Kelly, good morning, chicken. Hiya, Trish. How are you, Longford Lily? Or Longford Philly? <laughs> Yeah, right, so yeah, you're not going to get that. Yeah. yeah, I love lavender. Yeah, it's in Kilmac. Um, does, they have a company. They, they, they actually sell their own um, lavender oil as well. I love lavender. Phone's on 19%. <laughs> this one is dead. <laughs> I'm gone for days. I use it in my hair. I use it in my hair. We are in Ireland. Same here, Casey. Same here. Put me in a fucking, yeah. But do you know what? Because of, I think my life, I, I, like I, I think I could survive quite well in a city, but I would have to protect myself an awful lot. No, chicken, I'm not freezing. It's absolutely roasting. You too, Gracie. Send me a message, chicken, will ya? Or if not, I'll send you one. <sighs> Hi, Elisa. 
Much love, chicken. Much love. All mine, KC. I grew them myself. I grew them myself. All mine. All my own hair. My bed heading out this morning, but um, I don't like them down, right? I don't like them when they're down in the front of my face. But yeah, all mine. All my own hair. All my own hair. <laughs> No, chicken, it is not cold this morning. But yeah, I've grew them myself. A lot of people do, because like I know there has been a lot of people with a lot of locks. And anyone you see is, it's very rare that you see with their natural locks. And um, they're down past my bum, but I'm not a tall person. I'm only like five foot, like a little under five foot. But um, yeah, they're over half my body length. So they're just down below my bum. You can In one of my pictures there, you can see them, what? The, what's the temperature Fahrenheit I, I I know it's 11 degrees we don't do Fahrenheit here yeah I'm 4 foot 11 same here 4 foot 11 I was just going to say that took the words out of my mouth <laughs> Dylan and Vicky thank you for the follows beautiful people oh look we were only just talking look at Gorilla Photography because he was, did the picture there's a picture that um this guy here did with me and Sky. And there's one where I'm holding Sky up, but you can see the, the back of my locks. But like that was nearly a year ago, so they're longer than that again. But how are you, Richie? We've had Hallie in here promoting you like Feck as well. She's a brilliant little promoter, so she is your niece. Ah, thank you. He's about 50 Fahrenheit, yeah. Oh, you're following? He's great. He did a beautiful photography with Sky um, last October. Was it September, October? This time last year, was it? It's nearly a year ago now, Richie, is it? Yeah, the photos are on my page and on his page. Thank you for the follow, Mahil. Your favourite temperature. My hairdresser has them, yeah, she's got all the colours and charms in. I won't colour my hair, but I'll put the wool ones in as for colour. So it's another way. Ah, thank you, thank you for the rose chicken. But um, I wouldn't colour my hair, so it's another way of colouring your hair, putting the wool ones in. Thank you, Danielson, thank you, chicken. Wait, this is right here. This is right here, TikToker. Thank you so much. <sighs> when I finish the smoke, we're coming off. <sighs> Good morning, Abs. Whereabouts are we? We're on the east coast of Ireland, Geraldine. On the east coast of Ireland. In the next county from Dublin. We're in Wicklow. Oh, new customer. Very good, a Shih Tzu. I'll be back on this evening, Rosaline. I'll be back on this evening. I don't get colds, Daniel. I don't get colds, Daniel, son. I haven't been sick. I have. I do get one runny nostril. Uh, one runny nostril. But um, oh, we have no alarm. But yeah, I don't get sick. I do not get sick. But thank you, though, Daniel. Thank you. That's very uh, nice concern. No problem, Rosaline. Good morning, chicken. How are you, Ocean? Yeah, it's more just brushes. I do all of theirs. Because like, they, they, their coat doesn't be cut um, chicken. So it's more just uh, undercoat. It's more just undercoat and brushing. More so. And Storm has some un very unusual. Because she's both palm and some of her back. Because mainly all her back is all palm. And then all the front of her is, uh, is, is husky. <laughs> if you ever come to Donegal. <laughs> You never know, Muddy. You never know. 
Me neither, it's the herbs. Very good, yeah, my auntie is a herbalist. See you later, Atomic, see you later, chicken. I'm good, Ocean, I'm good, how are you, my love? Bits and bows, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd love a good badge. Do that for me, Muddy, will you? <laughs> I bring them, do you know, they, they, they have, um, they have um, a, a parking stations now. They have like dog washes where you can come in, you can uh, blow dry them, you can wash them. They have a bath there for dogs now. Yes, yeah, the storm there today. It was here yesterday. So I must have gone over that direction. Yeah, I've been to them now a couple of times. Yeah, I have. They're gr They're brilliant. Yeah, I've got two doggies. Look at them. Sky is right behind me here. There is Sky. Oh, she's over this side. There she is. Look. <laughs> Have you put them up, Richie? <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> that brown uh, dog was beautiful. Nearly four years, chicken. Coming into the fifth year. Handy how there's some man. Yeah, but I got a, I got a message off of Husky Rescue Ireland. A not so nice message, would you mind either? Telling me not to be buying dogs. <laughs> uh, but I said I can't rescue a dog. Nobody's going to give me a dog to rescue because they'll tell me I need to be rescued myself. But because I was I was promoting, I'd only just gotten Storm. And I got a message off of Husky Rescue Ireland telling me not to be buying my Huskies. <laughs> And that um, that they were going to end up somewhere else, like, do you know what I mean? So I was like, I, I didn't appreciate the message, put it that way. I didn't appreciate the message. They had no reason to message me whatsoever, um, telling me what I can and can't do. But, um, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, I said, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, I said, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, I said, giddy up, I said. Good morning, Anna. How are you, chicken? <laughs> No, Muddy, it's not. Because I can't go and physically... I, if I could rescue a dog, I would. But I do not have a house for uh, to bring a rescue dog to. Even though this is a beautiful space. Even though this is a beautiful, beautiful, safe space for my two doggies, there's no rescue place that would let them stay here. Even though they keep them in kennels outdoors in their space, like so. <laughs> Um, that's none of your business, chicken. <laughs> Nile with the follow. No, <laughs> but nobody should have an opinion on if you buy your dogs. I would have had to buy my dogs because I can't rescue them. So there's nobody can tell me what to do or what not to do. If I want my doggies and I need a doggy. Oh, very much so, Ocean, very much. That wasn't the problem. But like, because that they are rescues, it's kind of like they were thinking themselves, I'm going to have these dogs now in like 15, 20 months time. Like I have Sky two years now. Right, and if I, if there had to be any problems with Sky, she would have been gotten rid of a long time ago because they get rid of, I think it's between nine months and 12, nine and 15 months, just up to about two years old. Like, and then once they get hit, they pass it to their maturity of adults. So, like, once that they have got a lot of training, a, a dog is a dog. Do you know what I mean? The rescue's making it possible to rescue these days, they do. Good morning, Miss Diane. No, it's not cold, chicken. You've been up since 6am doing your stuff now, having coffee. Enjoy your coffee, Anna. Good morning, Sarah. My five-foot fence all enclosed isn't sufficient, apparently. But my Dalmatian doesn't jump right. So, like, this, the sky would jump that. Sky would jump straight over it. You have a blessed day, too, 2501. No, <laughs> and especially if you're homeless, right? That's the thing. If I went and said, yeah, I'm homeless. <laughs> Good morning, Tara. How are you, chicken? But um, yeah, if I went and said, I'm homeless, but I want to rescue a doggy. They were like, no, I think you need to be rescued yourself first <laughs> before you rescue anything. But that's not going to work. <laughs> but I need a doggy. 
Yeah, in a, in a little bit. These are not security doggies, but they, a bark would deter anyone. Hello, Niall. Always, always Tara, always chicken. It is very long, Lucy, yes. It's over half my body length. I don't use anything. I just use oils. I use lavender, tea tree, um, eucalyptus and peppermint. Sky is older. This one is older behind me. She is, there she is. She's the oldest, Sky is two. Storm is one. Yeah. She has her back, she's there. She's there. Every one of them have a story behind them, except for the hand. Every one of them have a meaning. Of course you can. Look, we'll give you a pin, uh, Richie. Give a shout out, anybody wants to follow um, Gorilla or anybody wants any photos taken with their dogs, any photography whatsoever, but it's, is it mainly with dogs, Richie, that you do? Or you do those communions, weddings, you, uh, all sorts of photography. I don't know about weddings and stuff like that, but I could be speaking. I don't know what to do, but I know he does dogs really, really well. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, you need time and a lot of space. Thank you, Bits, thank you. I do, I've lots of family. He does everything, there we go. Everything and anything. <sighs> Anybody want to throw a beautiful follow to this beautiful man? He does some great work. <sighs> um, no, I don't want to go to them. This is a choice. No, Lucy, I haven't been to a hairdresser uh, since my early 20s. So it's been over 20, 22, 23 years since I've been to a hairdresser. <laughs> Thank you, Muddy. I do still have the doggies. Yes, I do, chicken. I don't know why people ask that when they come in. It's like, do you still have your doggie? Yeah, of course I do. Why wouldn't I not still have my dog? <laughs> No, Lucy, they're not braided, they're locks. So they get done. I get the roots done maybe once, twice a year. So we get them done just before Christmas now. I get them done in summer. I got them done in early June. So like I literally just give it a twist. So hair needs to be all done. So the little bits of hair come out. And then you just give it an old twist. But there's short hairs. The short hairs still stay out, so they, like they need to be weeded back in these little bits. But yeah, once they're kind of to give it a twist, and they're all good. <laughs> oh, it does. My energy is my life force, but no, I do not cut my hair. I've got two boys, chicken. I have two boys, but no, um, I do not cut my hair. My hair is not being touched <laughs> by anyone. Thank you so much. Um, my hair is not being touched by anyone in over twenty-five years. <laughs> I have the puppy they're not puppies no more chicken they're not puppies no more thank you thank you Lucy I love my hair too I love my hair too Because that they all shed. No, chicken. <sighs> Not necessarily. Everybody has their own reasons. Everybody has their own reasons why they get rid of dogs. 
No, this is one of the safest places I've ever had on this beautiful universe. But the only way I'm going to move is straight to a camper van and straight out of this fucking country. <laughs> straight out of this country. I'll be gone. Yeah. Yeah, I can drive, Lucy. Drive people mad a lot of the time as well, but yes, I do drive. Um, nearly come into my fifth year now, so four years. This is my fourth autumn, fourth winter, fifth spring coming up. So yeah, we've dealt with the last three winters here, so like winter coming up. Last winter, we only just got the, the hut up. So if you go over to YouTube and give us subscribe, we've got content over there on how I did my hut, how I keep my bed and how, what, what, what products I use to keep myself warm, what beds we use because they're all waterproof, all what camping gear I use. No, I don't need to go for me, Michael. I fund myself. Everywhere, Machu Picchu, I want to climb. Machu Picchu, Peru, South America, um, the Andes, Egypt, the pyramids, Bexter on YouTube, it is Bexter too, yeah. Are you heading on the road soon as well, Tara? Good morning, Patrick. <sighs> no problem, Richie. Anytime, chicken. Anytime. Anybody want to go give this beautiful guy a follow? Please, please, please do. Go check his photography out. Two reposts on the big boy. I'll do a couple of reposts on the on the huskies uh, for you if you want uh, today. I, I said, you know what? Send me a video, uh, Richie, and that'll remind me because it'll be in my messages. Send, just send me one of your posts and I can do a few reposts for you. Oh, wow, I've seen your hair on YouTube. Stunning. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Patrick. Anybody give this guy a beautiful follow. Check his work out. He's absolutely amazing. He did a photo shoot with me in Sky last year. It was brilliant. It's in my content. If you go check through my content, go check his content out. It's absolutely amazing. We had a brilliant day. It was lashing rain that day. Oh, no way. Send it on. Send it on. We do love a good cry. <laughs> good morning, baby girl. How are you, chicken? No, I don't have any tea or coffee. I have a monster, Geraldine. I do, when I go over to Uncle Lynn's, I do have a latte. Ah, oh, hello, Mona from, from Norway. We get a lot of people in from Norway. We've got four, four or five people that come in. I'm from Sweden. Yeah, I'm good too, baby girl. I had a good sleep last night. I didn't end up coming back live. I just had a good feed and went flat out asleep. Hiya, Kelly. How are you, chicken? Paul J with the follow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Danny Stevens with the follow, chicken. Thank you so much. No, Mary. I'm good today, Kelly. I'm good. Much love, Danny. Baxter. Baxter is my YouTube name. Same name as here. Does live content... What? Right, guys, we have to end the live. Two restrictions. I've definitely got to go because they could take me off. We thank you for all the beautiful, kind, kind love. Thank you for all the beautiful, kind, kind comments. These have been absolutely amazing. We love you as always. People are out to get us. Mwah. I love you. We thrive on a positive vibe, and without you, there ain't no me. See you soon. We'll see you back later on.